Hi, I'm Karen Quinn, Curator of Art and Culture here at the New York State Museum. And today I'm going to present you another slice of the historic Woodstock art collection, Arthur A. Anderson collection. And today I'm going to present Peggy Bacon, who is one of my favorite artists in this collection. She studied at the Art Students League. She studied painting there, but she actually was a self-taught printmaker and is best known for her prints. And just to show you a, a, a small selection of what we have in our collection, um, I'm going to start with one that's, that is one of my favorites. It's called Clams and Clodhoppers. She was a very witty artist. She had um, a great sense of humor and she could capture caricatures of her friends and sometimes not her friends. And uh, she also is very well known for her renditions of animals, specifically cats. And in Clams and Clodhoppers, she includes herself here um, at the very end of the table, a self-portrait with her nose peeking out. And I will show you another self-portrait at the end. Um, she is sneaking a clam to a cat who is scrounging below. This is her husband, Alexander Brook, right next to her. And she and Alexander Brooke met at the Art Students League. They traveled to Woodstock in 1919 in the, for the summer school, and then they headed back to Woodstock between 1921 and 1926. So they spent a good amount of time there, and they certainly knew um, many of the artists who were working in Woodstock at that time. Another example of her um, work in Woodstock, about Woodstock, is this, this dry point called card dollars and cash dollars excuse me cash dollars was the name of a restaurant in Woodstock and she surrounds the table with a, an assortment of characters that she has observed and she has a wonderful sense of uh, line she can capture her um, her her sitters sometimes not sitters very very um, eloquently as we see in this uh, sketch of Eugene Spiker, another one of the artists who was working in Woodstock. And when you look at it, you can see how economically she could sketch the spirit of an individual in her work. Uh, and this is the kind of thing in the historic Woodstock art collection that we treasure because it is, um, it is something that wasn't meant to be shown perhaps in an exhibition, but it gives you a sense of how the artist worked and also it gives you a, a sense of the, um, the, the process that the artist worked with. We have an example of her work at the Art Students League with this piece called Lunch at the League. It is believed that the gentleman sitting there may in fact be the artist George Bellows, who was one of her teachers, but unlike many of his students, she didn't love him quite as much. She preferred John Sloan uh, to George Bellows. And finally on this cart we have an example, another drawing that she did abroad in Munich. And I just think it has a wonderful spirit. It's, a, it's an older couple that are at an art museum or a gallery looking at some amorous lovers um, in the background and they have their he has his arm around her and it just has a wonderfully gentle spirit so she could be incisive in her wit and she could also be gentle in her wit the next group i want to show you are a group of uh, a book that she did and she illustrated over 60 books and actually wrote over almost two dozen and this one was one for which she worked on when she got a Guggenheim Foundation Prize. And it is called Off With Their Heads. And it is a book of caricatures of people she knew, artists, um, literati, people uh, working in New York and elsewhere. It ranges from somebody, politicians like Fiorello LaGuardia and Franklin Roosevelt. And here we have two. One is Hayward Brune, who was an editor, a writer, very well-known writer um, in, in the first part of the 20th century. And this is the artist Guy or Guy Pandubois. And in the book itself, just to show you, this is a lithograph, and this is the printed lithograph of Hayward Brune. 
Um, she also includes some very witty texts describing her sitters, sometimes not very nicely, I guess, that the word is, but she um, it captures their spirit quite well. The Guy or Guy Pen du Bois is actually a drawing, uh, not a print, and we have here the final product, and if I compare the two, you can see how close the sketch is to the final print in the book itself. And um, she includes little vignettes, too, that help get across the, um, the personality of the artist or the sitter, actually. They're not all artists, although I do have to show you two of my favorite. For a more well-known, perhaps, artist, this is her rendition of Georgia O'Keeffe. And she captures O'Keeffe and says, stern ancestral face full of irregularities, all definite, pale with polished black hair brushed uncompromisingly back from climbing forehead, sharp cheekbones, hoisted eyebrows, and a long wavy nose, structure of face bony and melancholy, enlivened by keen fanship fan-shaped eyes and a crooked smile, generous and friendly. Delicate frame in deep black betimes with a tragic looking cape, personality stripped and whittled, conspicuous as a nun, distinguished and restricted as Electra. So she really has thought about the physical and personalities of her, um, of her sitters in this, this book. Um, she, uh, Bacon also did a whole number of children's books that were very popular, as well as other, she wrote mysteries later in her career, and she ha enjoyed a very long and um, prolific life. Her caricatures, for the most part, were done between the 1920s and 30s, and I would just like to end this with her, uh, her rendition of herself in this book, which really does capture her in a caricature. And she, she pulled no bones about even her own caricatures. So you can see that she didn't have particularly, in this instance, uh, a whole lot of uh, uh, ego, as one might say. She is totally worth looking into as an artist. She has flown be be below the radar for many, many years, although a lot of people do know about her. And her prints are, are quite, quite enjoyable. Um, to look at and to get her sense of humor. So that's today's little introduction to Peggy Bacon. Thank you from the New York State Museum. <laughs>